Hey, what's up? It's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, here's a little disclaimer for you. So, this is your old school Frigidaire Gallery, also made by Whirlpool. Kenmore. Check it out. Barrel seems to be good. No slop in the main bearing. Boot seems to be good. Door hinge seems to be good. Door lock seems to be good. Pump seems to be good. No slop. A little bit of slop, but it probably works. Make sure your pump is clean. Shock absorbers seem to be good. Motor looks like it's got some brushes on it. What you want to check is, particularly if you have little critters, little mice, rats, this one has some sort of, uh, this hole back here, I think, may have something to do with the shipping. Uh, when it's shipped, it may have some sort of uh, bar or something that grabs the motor or the basket so that it doesn't flop around when it's shifting, uh, when it's shipped. Anyway, that hole uh, is a place where little mice or whatever rats can crawl in. And you want to check your wiring. Now we see here that some of these wires here may have a little bit of a nibble mark on them. Where somebody's tried to munch on these things a little bit. Uh, but otherwise they look pretty good. What you want to do is check this board here. This uh, is the speed control board. Straight back there in that white container. You can take the back off this and then you can look at the board. There's two, basically there's two connectors that connect onto that, that board back there. There. And you want to check your main high voltage input on that board. Notoriously, what will happen is there's a solder joint that goes uh, while well, it'll disconnect, basically. Solder joint gives out after heat. And you might be able to fix your machine just by taking that board out from the back. You have to take it out from the back. I guess you could take it out from the front. There's two screws that mount that plastic housing on there. And then you have to take it out of the plastic housing and then solder the it's basically the main input for the board there's one terminal that tends to lose its solder joint due to heat fatigue Anyway, that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me 707-443-8347. I give phone advice for $25. I also have a how to make money in the appliance repair course, which includes a year of coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos.